I'm Ray McCormack, and we're going to get down to the brass tacks and hard facts of water mapping with a smoothbore nozzle. The nozzle firefighter is currently outside the fire room. Our initial stream entry into the room will be high. We want to capture most of the ceiling with our stream. This is the hottest space within the room. It's the most unobstructed space within the room. What's going to happen is the stream is going to hit the surface of the ceiling and ride the ceiling until it hits an obstruction, which is the wall opposite the stream. Once it hits that wall, the majority of the water will cascade down that wall. What happens is we're killing the fire gases, the high heat level in the room. One of the features of having the stream angle up high just below the header of the door allows us to get most of the ceiling wet. One of the drawbacks of what happens there is that the stream does not go down at the same angle it goes up. And I'll show you this by standing directly underneath it and barely getting wet. Once the nozzle firefighter hits the ceiling and cools the fire gases, it's time to move inside the room. Using a circular motion, the stream will push the products of combustion away from the team. Soon after that, it'll move into a knockdown state. Once they're in that room, they can control any little embers that are burning. We have ourselves an extinguished fire. 